Welcome to another episode of Two Old Men in Chairs. I'm Corin Strong. And I'm Howard Appel. And it's Tom Friday. Tom is dropping another song today. It's called Scars. It just came out. And I gotta admit, I have some reservations. We have watched it once. Maybe I'm just uh, an unsentimental bastard. I don't relate so much to these introspective songs. Yeah, it is introspective. And I, I, I'm i fine with them. Uh, you know, I was always a big fan, fan of Paul Simon or or Jackson Brown or Neil Young or all those singer-songwriters that, that uh, make a career doing this. So. Well, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Let's watch a little bit of yeah. the song. But basically, we have seen it. It's similar to a lot of songs that he does where he talks about his struggles in life and his struggles with addiction. And I know a lot of his fans love that kind of stuff. That's not my cup of tea. I prefer the, the political, protesting, social commentary Tom. Yeah. Well, but that's not what we're going to get today. So I'll try to, uh, I'll try to relate. I don't remember how I got all these scars, but I know I lived a hell of a life. I can't remember how I made it this far, but I know it was a hell of a fight. Could have been some bones in a coffin stone, drinking vodka locked up with the bros, causing problems broke at the bottom, you know that I... Got a lot of marks under these clothes Should've killed me, somehow I survived These tattoos On my arm Hide from you All the scars Okay, so right away, it's a totally different Tom. He's playing acoustic guitar. Yes, and that, I think, goes with the singer-songwriter thing. You know, he's kind of adapting that identity here. Which is like a little bit of a mind fuck, you know, <laughs> <Really? because laughs> I know Tom as the rapper, rapper Tom. <laughs> and this is like the pop musician Tom or something. Or, or like I said, the folky singer-songwriter. But Folky singer-songwriter. He's talking about his adversities in life, and that's a principal topic for the singer-songwriter. Oh, you know, I, I find it interesting that you don't identify with this. I don't. And I mean, I because I've known you for about, about a third of a century, you certainly faced adversities. Uh, well, not not his types of adversities. I I didn't have alcohol or no, substance abuse. No, but I mean, you've, you've faced adversities. I, yeah, everyone in life faces adversities. I mean, no one gets out of and, here And severe of ones. I think we've all faced severe adversities. So yeah. identify if you can. I'm gonna try. I'm not I'm not feeling it, but I'll try. The whole singer songwriter thing is. I mean, I liked it in Heart Emojis. I'm a, I must admit, but that was a funny song. This is a little too sincere for me. I, I'm not big on sincerity. Now, maybe we should be psychoanalyzing you here. That's why you don't like it. <laughs> So now he's going to start rapping. So now my attention uh, the, is going the, to pick The tempo up. picks up a little bit. Yeah. But uh, he says, I don't know how I got here. And where the hell is he? He's out in the desert well, well, I think he's, how old is he? What? 34, maybe. 34. So he's almost to the halfway point of his life. And maybe he's just taking stock. No, I mean, literally, where is he? Oh, this, this, well, that's scene. symbolic of where he is in his... Uh, you know, mental life. He's, He's somewhere out in the middle of nowhere. Right. It looks like a plane crashed there, like a part of a plane or something. Yeah, yeah, all kinds of neat metaphors there, really. So, like a survivor type situation. Yeah, right. And it was interesting. I did watch some of his live video on Facebook the other night, and he was all sunburned. So and I think it was from making this, from shooting this <laughs> video out in the desert somewhere. Yeah. He got totally burned up. Okay, but now he's going to get back to something that I can relate to. Now he's going to rap. All of my years, but I'm thankful for this crazy life. 
Every single scar and every single scrape, every bruise and tattoo along the way tells a little story that I can't explain because the words escape me, but the marks remain. They won't ever fade and they can't be erased. They made me who I am and I am not ashamed. Every bump and scratch and every drop of blood prove how far I've came. These tattoos on my arm hide from you all the scars. These tattoos on my arm hide from you all the scars. I have had my scars longer than my friends crashed a couple cars put some stitches in my legs looked up at the stars and all i can say is thanks recovery was hard but it made me who i am all these ugly battle scars complete me they're reminders of the demons who tried their best to defeat me they don't look so good in photos but my struggles ain't beneath me and these tattoos ain't for nothing this is physical graffiti Every broken bone, all the sticks and stones And the moments when I felt so alone Every single tear and like a million beers That I only drank so I could try to cope Every bloody nose and all the muddy clothes When I was in the dirt, down inside a hole Every single scuff and every single scab Made me who I am Well, and I think he's talking He's ascended to not just surviving But to being a, a, a popular figure in entertainment Extremely popular figure in entertainment Who uh, is successful in it by any definition of the word and Yeah and he's, you know, he's... I, I'm I'm blown away by all the different colors sand blowing in his face. <laughs> that's that's a nice special effect, and kudos to Nova for putting that all together. But I don't know what it means. It, it, it's fundamental to life. Any any uh, any any he's having living thing has to has to survive. No, I'm thinking he's it's, it's he's taking stock of what we have to do to live every day to get by to get through to to um. To just survive, like I said, all the expectations, all the requirements, just to get by another day and be still alive. That's what he's singing about, and he's, you know, he's dead de through 34 years of this. It is, it is worth a song. Yeah, and a common theme is that, you know, he lost all his friends. I guess that's the price, part of the price of fame. You know, mm -hmm. as you climb up that ladder, you leave most of your friends behind. And actually, the, sometimes the friends, the former friends, mm -hmm. are jealous yeah. of your success. Well, there's a little bit they of this. You win. Yeah, there's a little bit of this thing going on here, um, and I'm sure you've heard of it. The fact that the artist has to suffer to produce good art. I mean, you've you've heard that idea before, right? I suppose. Yeah. And uh, that's maybe he's kind of talking about that too. I mean, he he is making good art and. Could he have made it if he hadn't suffered, if he hadn't gone through his addictions and recovery, if he hadn't actually had these car crashes, these mental scars? Well, I know that there's a certain segment of his audience is going to absolutely love this video. Yeah, well, I like they, it. They I love it when he opens <laughs> up his guts and shows you yeah. all the all I mean, the scars, the name of the song, Scars. He's showing you all the scars that he he's developed from... 34 years of life and a pretty tough life for most of that time. And I think it's appealing because in a way we all can identify with this aspect of him. I wonder about that picture that he keeps looking at and I really can't make it out. Is it is it a former girlfriend or I couldn't make... I have no idea. He's not, it's not clear see. enough. He keeps looking at that no, one picture. It's a mystery. It's him and somebody else but I can't make out who... No, you can see there's two people in it. I can't yeah. even see that. Yeah. yeah, there's two people in that picture and I don't know if it's his dad or his mom mm -hmm. or his yeah. girlfriend or whatever. Uh, I can relate to the romantic scars of life. I just can't re relate to the... the romantic scars, scars are no different than anything. I mean, the reproductive requirements of life are just relating to that. We're not always successful in that endeavor either. You know, no, and, there's uh, certainly a lot of struggle involved <laughs> in that, a lot of scars. But uh, you could, I, I'm amazed that you really don't, I mean, your political career has been a struggle from day one, a horrible struggle, and I'm surprised you can't relate in that domain. I mean, well, you, I mean, I don't hear him talking about that so much as I hear him talking no. about well, he's his, not his no. addictions and his, his alcohol no. use and all that stuff. No, but I mean, some of your political aspirations have been crunched by, by, by cruel life, and I think... Well, you know, you know I, I, as far as that goes, um, and for people of no background, uh, I've run a number of different, uh, for a number of different offices, never won anything. But I always figured, in the end, that it was what was meant to be. You know, you give it your best shot, yeah. and you either make it or you don't make it. 
and you don't know what boats you dodge. Look, look at all the politicians <laughs> who are caught up in scandal and yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. You know, it sounds like a rationalization to me, though, that you weren't. Well, <laughs> that you, you no, might. I mean, I mean, I, my first big race, I ran for New York State Assembly, and I lost. Right. And then after that, I had two more kids. Mm -hmm. So, would you trade those two kids? Would you have had those two kids if you hadn't lost? Maybe you've been too busy. Maybe you wouldn't have had any more kids. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't know. Uh, I, I take it as it comes. You know, I, I, mm -hmm. I never. I, I know a lot of people when they lose election, it devastates them, and they, you know, you know, has a long-lasting scar. It never did for me. Mm -hmm. I just kept moving forward and mm -hmm. run, run for the next one. And maybe you're just too psychologically healthy to relate to this, I guess. But uh, I don't. And, and you know, there's people that that struggle to be somebody like Tom that never make it either. And it, it's the same kind of uh, it's angst oh, sure. that, that's involved here. And I think that I see it all the time on his Facebook page. You know, not his page, but his fan page. And people will write in and they'll talk about, you know, I've been sober for you know two years, but I'm going through this really tough period in my life. You know, and you know, I just got evicted, you know, my dog died, whatever, whatever it is, you know, that they're, they're all sharing their, their stories of woe yeah. to his face. And then a lot of the other fans are like, oh, you know, you can do it, hang in there, yeah. you know. Uh, so he brings that out in people to extent. Yeah. Well, that. I think there's a reassurance here that, you know, when you get up in the morning, you're like, holy shit, my life, life is tough, but, you know. Everybody's life is tough, so it, even it makes, Tom McDonald yes, struggles. Yes, exactly. Even though he's got the <laughs> world by the tail and making millions of dollars. For in, by the way, this might be a good time to notice that uh, I am wearing my Hangover Gang T-shirt. Don't worry, I have not given up on Tom McDonald. Even though this may not be my favorite song, I love the guy and he's fantastic, and I can't wait for his next political song. But this, uh, I got this at the Memorial Day sale. I mean, he is amazing, uh, marketing and, uh, you know, the merchandise and he, you know, he handles all that himself. Mm -hmm. If there's one criticism of Tom, you know, he, he maybe should, as big as he has become, you know, I know he doesn't want to sign with a label, but he might want to yeah. farm out some, but, some of this stuff. In a way, you know, even in a way, this has got to be good for you because you don't want a monotonous Tom. You don't want a town that is every video is kind of I the don't same get topic. tired of the political songs. I mean, the more I think that message has to be told again and again. And I know some people say, "Oh, it's always the same old message." Well, yeah, because you haven't figured it out yet. You don't understand what he's saying, so he's got to say it again and again and again. Why? Well, I never get tired of that. When I was in the dirt, down inside a hole, every single scuff and every single scab made me who I am. These tattoos. I got to admit, I really have trouble with rock star Tom. Well, I was the he's not a rock star, he's got acoustic six string. He's a singer songwriter here, and he's obviously keenly aware of that musical history, that musical genre of singer songwriter where personal angst is, is the name of the game, and that's what you sing about. And I think that in any other of his videos, has he ever had an acoustic six string guitar? I don't recall. Probably I think in, so that's, that's significant. In, in Heart Emojis, he had the electric yeah, guitar. But not the acoustics. That's, that's, the, tool, that's the tool of the singer-songwriter of, of introspection. All right, well, Tom threw us a big curveball today with this one. It's very little rap. A little bit of rap in the middle, uh, but a lot of chorus and a lot of uh, wavy hair in the desert. I want the blood and guts, Tom. You know, stick it in your face, Tom. 